Welcome to Telangana Today. Here we bring you today's news from local to global at a quick glance. The rupee depreciated 6 pies to 81.88 against the US dollar on Tuesday. The rupee was trading at 81.8275 per US dollar, having reached 81.7325 earlier. Gold price declined 225 rupees to 60,075 per 10 grams in the national capital on Tuesday. Amid a fall in precious metal prices internationally, silver also went lower by 380 rupees to 75,600 rupees per kg. Engineers at MIT have designed a new nanoparticle sensor that could detect early diagnosis of cancer with a simple urine test. It can be performed using a strip of paper, similar to an at-home COVID test. The U.S. National Security Council (NSC) said that Russia has suffered more than 1 lakh casualties in its ongoing war against Ukraine, including over 20,000 killed in action since December 2022. NSC spokesman John Kirby also added that 80,000 troops have also been injured. Virat Kohli and Gautam Gambhir, who were involved in a verbal spat after Monday's match, were fined. Both Virat and Gambhir were fined 100% of their match fee for breaching the IPL code of conduct. A rare black tiger has been found dead in the Simlipal National Park in the Mayurbanj district of Odisha. The dead tiger has been identified as T27, male, aged about 3.5 years, the field director said. Touted as the godfather of AI, computer scientist Geoffrey Hinton quit his job at Google and warned the world of the adverse effects of artificial intelligence technology. According to reports, he warned about AI systems such as ChatGPT could soon become more intelligent than humans and poses profound risk to society and humanity. Two Pakistani infiltrators crossing the international border were killed by border security force troops at Barmawala post in the Gadda Road police station area on Tuesday. Hyderabad witnessed a record-breaking 66.7 mm of unseasonal rain on Sunday the highest received in a day in April since 1986. The record-breaking rainfall on Sunday surpassed the previous high of 61.4 mm received in 24 hours on April 13, 2015, according to the India Meteorological Department. Leading e-commerce player Flipkart launched a new fulfillment center in Sangareddy today. Telangana Industries Minister K.T. Ramarao virtually inaugurated the fulfillment center virtually from Hyderabad. The University of Tokyo announced that Jack Ma will give lectures to students on sustainable agriculture and food production. His tenure as a visiting professor will begin on May 1st and continue till October 31st. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M. K. Stalin demanded to conduct all central government examinations in regional languages and said that students from all states of the country should get equal opportunities. He also welcomed the center's decision to conduct the Central Armored Police Force CAPF exams in 13 regional languages besides Hindi and English. The Nationalist Congress Party, NCP President Sharad Pawar, today announced that he is stepping down from his post soon. He made the announcement during the release of his autobiography, Lok Maje Sangai, Political Autobiography. Congress Karnataka Unit President D.K. Shivakumar's helicopter made an emergency landing at the HAL airport today after a kite hit the glass of the cockpit on Tuesday afternoon. The Congress leader was flying to Malbagal in the Kola district from Jakar airport in Bengaluru to attend a public meeting. A 28-year-old man was allegedly abducted and killed by Naxalites in Chhattisgarh's insurgency-hit Bijapur district. The body of Hadmavalam, a resident of Tarim village, was found on a field this morning, the police said. The US FDA directed Sun Pharma to stop trials of a dermatological drug with a 12 mg dose regimen as its usage could lead to blood clots. The U.S. health regulator is expected to state the concerns in a formal letter within next 30 days. Israel is unlikely to meet its 2030 climate goal set by the government, according to a report issued by the country's Ministry of Environmental Protection. 
It is also warned failure to meet the climate goals will result in significant damage to the economy, health, environment, and Israel's position in the world. Tennis star Novak Djokovic will be able to compete at this year's US Open after the US announced the end of the COVID-19 vaccination requirements for international travelers from May 11th earlier this year. Djokovic was denied entry to the US over his vaccination status, so he had to withdraw from Indian Wells and Miami Open tournaments in March. Superstar Shah Rukh Khan will start shooting for his cameo in Salman Khan's next action thriller Tiger 3 from May 8. Both Shah Rukh and Salman Khan will be doing some insane action sequences in Tiger 3. Animated adventure film The Super Mario Bros movie was leaked online on Twitter and over 9 million people illegally watched the movie before it was removed. It was uploaded by a Twitter user on April 28. Fans of Star Kathi flew down from Japan to watch his latest release Ponyan Selvan 2 with Tamil audience. They also met Kathi at his residence as the actor welcomed them home. Subscribe to Telangana today and stay tuned to our daily news at 8 pm every day.